Hey everybody, Josh down here at Advantage One again today with a three horse bison living quarter trailer that we originally sold down the street at Halet RV back when it was called Halet's North Country RV and Trailers or something like that. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a TLC special. It, it's one owner, the, we sold it to them and they had it for a while and unfortunately didn't keep up on top of things like the roof seams. Long story short, this RV needs some TLC. This would be a very, uh, frankly though, I think uh, like all your major appliances and stuff, as far as I know, are in good working order. What this needs is somebody with the willingness to spend uh, a weekend with this thing in a barn, peeling and sealing the roof, giving it a good cleaning and once over, maybe replacing a couple light bulbs. And you're, you're like, you're wondering why is it so darn cheap? Because it needs a little love, but it's what I'm going to call a good bones trailer. This is something you put a little weekend worth of effort into it. You have a lot of years of good trailer left right here. Now there's a little spot I'm going to show you here. Um, up in one of the cabinets where I think there has been some water through the roof to the inside living quarter area here. And my consignment manager, he flat out, first thing he told me is, Josh, don't tell people it's perfect because that roof needs some work. It's probably had some leaks. Now, I take a very quick surface pass through these things. When you're looking at a trailer like this where I've said, hey, you need to inspect it before you take it home, I really recommend Come put your hands on it, put your own eyes on it. I'm giving you, I'm trying to give you a reasonable idea of its condition. You're gonna to have to form a few of your own opinions. But when you see stuff like this, like if you look up inside there, you can see where that's been compromised a little bit. The fancy way of saying it is there's been a level of water intrusion. What that means in English is it's it's had a leak, guys. I hope you appreciate the fact though. I'm getting it, we're just talking about it. We're just gonna let you know I'm not gonna smoke screen you on this stuff. Now it's been a little while, I'm a little rusty on this one, but I believe the ceiling height in here, I think Bison's with that vault were like seven foot two or something like that. We can always get a tape measure out and double check all that for you, of course. You know, like overall, the cabinetry, the upholstery, I don't know that this was used a whole lot. I think somebody bought this thing and just didn't use it very much. That looks probably like a new toilet. I can't believe the original toilet is still here and never ever used, but I suppose that's actually theoretically possible. I have seen crazier things happen over my career. Walk through middle bath right here with a uh, little hop out door to the uh, horse area. Now, one of the things I really like on this is that big fan. And I tell you what, looking at that fan, it does make me think this really wasn't used a lot because those fan blades, other than the fly that managed to get up into there, the fan blades themselves are like, crystal perfectly clean like they were just installed off the production line now in this shower over here i do see obviously there's been some dribbles on the floor so i don't know if maybe something dribbled in from the roof i don't really see where that could have been but yeah there's some dribbles on the floor shower floor needs clean another th thing over here a handy extra storage space but this is also a nice, handy little hanging closet which hey you know what it's always pretty limited on hanging storage and horse trailers. That's useful. Keep your shirts up in there. Back outside here once again. You got to make sure you're well aware of what you're getting into before you make the drive. Um, as I said when the video began, the roof needs a full peel and seal. That This thing needs a cleaning and a full peel and seal. That is order number one. A little look at the roof up there just to give you that idea. It looks like... I don't know if maybe we turned a little sharp once. You see the stainless wrap up here on the nose of the seven foot wide trailer. Must've had a little bit of a bump right there. Although I do like those stainless wraps because of some yee-haw, yee-haw, yahoo, whatever, is uh, leaving their high beams on coming at you at night. <laughs> We're gonna turn them off. <laughs> I noticed the awning is here, but the awning fabric is not. Additionally, these are the original tires. It has sat for some time and they need replaced. I'm not even gonna say they're, oh, they're, they're okay. They need replaced. I hope you appreciate the total transparency and candor. I get up close, you can see some weathering. You can also see a little bit of creasing and, and weather checking right there. Again, I don't like any of that. And again, I think that a weekend of some serious elbow grease put into this thing for the money that you're buying it, uh, I think that there's a lot of trailer left here. It is an aluminum over steel build, by the way. I don't think I've mentioned that before. Um, the uh, rear tack closet here, collapsible if need be. You see a three-horse saddle tree that can swing out to make it a little easier to get to. Uh, the uh, horse area here, 
gold, classic old bison with that fiberglass roof, giving us some nice light in here, actually, which I like, so you don't gotta worry necessarily about running lights and electrical, although it, it does have lighting, of course. You see the front um, divider there has that handy stud curtain. And what I like about that is I always like a three horse trailer for a two horse family or riders or whatever, um, because that gives you, I, I never called it a stud wall, I call it a stuff wall, especially with that escape door. It gives you like, if you gotta jump in, you gotta grab a hay bale, you gotta grab some extra stuff, or you wanna jump in and out of the bathroom since it has a direct door there. It's a nice way to not track dirty boots through the whole rig, you know what I mean? So if you got a weekend to spare, then you want to have a trailer for years, give us a call. Might just have one for you here. I hope you appreciate the transparency and candor the way we don't dodge around stuff. Got it right out of the way, right off the top. You know you can always get a fair deal and, and straight information from us. So when you're ready, we are ready. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and uh, happy trails, everyone.